In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe Podcast to improve the audio for your e-learning. I'm not sure when I became aware of this, uh, this new product from Adobe. It is technically still in beta, um, but it is a solution that you can try out today. And uh, I recommend that you request access and try it out. If you're in a situation like me where, you know, you can't always be sitting at your desk in front of your webcam with your professional microphone, you might be using your iPhone, you might need to record something while on the go that needs to be incorporated in your e-learning. It's nice to know that, you know, if it's not the best audio in the world, there's there's an opportunity for you to enhance it. So today I'm going to test it out. We're going to do a little experiment and see how it works. Okay, so I paused the recording and I've started back up again, but the difference is this time I'm using the microphone that's built into my webcam. Now the webcam I'm using is an Insta360 link, so it's a fairly good webcam to begin with. Um, but the microphone, I really haven't used it before. I've always relied on my Shure MV7. Um, so we'll see how good quality it does. And I'll take this clip, run it through Adobe Podcast, see what kind of results we get. Okay, so here's the recording that I just made. I've, I've imported it into Camtasia, and I'm going to use the export option just to export the audio only to my desktop here. So we're just going to call this uh, this audio here Insta360 link.wave. It does export it in WAV file. I did it once already, but forgot to record. And I'll just write over top of that there. I'll minimize Camtasia. Now here I am at podcast.adobe.com. I recommend that you sign in with your Adobe ID, which is what I've done here and make sure you request access. But in the meantime, while you're waiting to test it out, if you scroll down, there is the opportunity to try it out. So I'm just gonna click this button here and uh, I can drag and drop um, you know, any audio recording into this window here. So let's just organize my desktop here. And there's the audio recording. We'll drag it into here. Now, enhancing the speech is the focus of what this app does. It's not going to improve anything else. It's focusing on getting your speech out of here. So if you had to record something like maybe some narration for an e-learning course, or uh, if you had to do maybe a quick webinar on the go and you didn't have your best microphone with you, you can upload the video when you're done, uh, or in this case, the audio here, and then once it's finished, we can download that. I'll save that to my desktop and we'll return to um, Camtasia and see what the process is to bring that in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this case here is we'll play this clip, but I will play it again a second time, the exact same clip, but this time I will replace the audio with the audio that I just brought in here. So I'm going to separate the audio and video, and then I'm gonna right click on the audio and delete the audio. And of course, now I can bring in the enhanced audio. There we go. And I will play this back for all of you as part of the video, and you'll be able to see uh, or hear, rather, the results. Okay, so I paused the recording and I've started back up again, but the difference is this time I'm using the microphone that's built into my webcam. Now, the webcam I'm using is an Insta360 link, so it's a fairly good webcam to begin with, um, but the microphone, I, I really haven't used it before. I've always relied on my Shure MV7. Uh, so we'll see how good quality it does. And I'll take this clip, run it through Adobe Podcast, see what kind of results we get. Um, so I have to say, wow, it's really much improved over 
the original audio that came from my Insta360 link. I, I think, you know, when I'm sitting in this environment, I will continue to use my MV7 from Shure. It's an excellent microphone. But again, if I'm out recording uh, maybe something for Instagram or, uh, you know, for TikTok and I'm just using my phone, I will definitely run it through Adobe Podcast to get that enhanced audio. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to provide lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.